Hey guys, this is Jules. Just want to share a couple of things. Um, just a, a small haul, really. I had been eyeballing some dyes from Sherry Lynn since I went to the Scrapbook Expo last year, like September or something like that. And um, finally took the dive and got some. When I first saw their booth, I wasn't interested in any of the... Well, I mean, some of them, like some of the butterflies and... Um, just a couple of other designs, but they've come up with some really beautiful doilies and uh, butterflies and flourishes and stuff. So I, I had to get some. Um, let me start with the smallest one. I got this one that is the olive branches and it's a two set. Um, they come together like this, but of course they will cut separate so your pieces look separated. And they're beautiful. I love that. And the little slits that you see is not an embossed line. That is an actual little slit um, to give the leaf a more natural look. Just the back side. So that is the olive branch. Um, it's B147. And I went directly onto the website and just grabbed these. Um, the next one is another, it's a little flourish. Well, two of them are flourishes. This one here is called a Victorian Romance Flourish, um, and it measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and it's like it's just a corner piece, and it looks like this. At first, I wasn't sure about it, but after I got it and I cut it out, oh my gosh, I love it! Um, so this is what it looks like, and I'm like amazed at the detail. It it's beautiful. They are very very intricate super duper intricate and on the website it does show you exactly how to do it because th they tell you to run it through back and forth a few times and then rotate it and run it back a few times because it really needs to cut out a lot of details so that's that one and then I grabbed this one here that is a the fanciful flourish measuring four and a half by four there it is here. And it's nice and big, and I think they have a couple different sizes on the website. And so, this is what they look like. Or this one. Let me get closer. Super cute. It's really, looks like it's like wrinkled in the center there. Excuse my nails, I need my fill. So I grabbed that one. And the next one I grabbed are the the exotic butterfly the small number twos and they all measure a little bit different but it says um, two and a half by three well this one looks like it's a little bit smaller but they're right now they're still attached I didn't pull them off or anything I just threw a piece of paper on there and cut them out and got these beautiful butterflies and in all actuality let me pull back out in here So the palm of my hand, my hands are kind of big, so you can see that's about half the, the top half of my palm. Super pretty. But there's that one here. And then there's this one. Look how intricate. It's so pretty. I love the little holes. It gives it a different texture. It's so cute. And the little antennas. It's adorable. And then this one. And I cut this out of some graphic 45 paper, some scraps that I had from uh, my Mother's Day project that I made for my mama. God, it's so pretty. So that's the butterflies. And then I grabbed um, some doilies. This one here is the English Tea Party. And I thought it was just really pretty. This one is uh, five by five. And I used some um, manila folder, actually. This is the doily here. And this is what it looks like cut out. And after I cut it out, of course, all the little things were in there, and you can either poke them out, or I was just flicking it in the trash can, and it was like popping out and everything. Um, and I r had to run this quite a few times through. There's a little piece that's stuck in there. Anyways, because it's a thick, tough cardstock, um, I wasn't worried about tearing it by flicking it, so um, not a big deal to me. And I grabbed a doily that is a... What do they call it again? Stacker? It's 
it's called a doily stagger. So there's um, one, two, three, and then a little circle. It's like a one inch circle. So you can cut out actually like three different doilies. And this one has, is, it works a certain way. Um, it says die cut round doily frames and decorate the interior. For die cutting interior circles, each doily frame interior matches an extra large round stacker die. You may mix colors within the doily frame with a round stacker form, bossing die cut, um, a round shape and then emboss the doily graphics using your rubber pads so there's some other stuff it was like some round stacker nesting dies i guess that it says that you can work um it together with this and when i open the package they look like they're like this so they're in pieces where you can actually pull one out of the other and there's like this um, plastic film under it so that's what these look like. And so you can cut out several dies. Um, see, this is just a plain circle. So you're able to cut like three different ones and then um, maybe use some circle dies to um, settle something in there, like a title or a photo or something. But this is the larger one. And I cut it out of just some regular white cardstock. I don't even know where this green paper came from, but I did just cut that middle one there out of that. And then the smaller one here is this design here. This one is a nautical wheeler die that I need to get an adapter for according to Cherry Lynn. So once I get it, I will cut it out and show you guys. It's a gorgeous design. I really like it. I think they're absolutely beautiful. So that's uh, Cherry Lynn um, on their, on their uh, website. So I didn't go through anyone else to get those. And then I went and I have a dusty attic haul. Um, if you guys have never heard of Dusty Attic, they are um, a company out of Australia and they do die cutting, um, really intricate patterns out of uh, chipboard and they're really cool looking. Um, let me see if I can tell you the names of them because I don't think it's, oh yeah, they're probably on the back. Yep, they are. Okay, this is Anchors and I got this um, at a website that's called Stay True to God. And Tracy is the lady there that um, runs that website, and they also have a link site. So I'll leave the links to those two below. Although you can get from one to the other, but um, this is what I got. And I got partial, or uh, some of the stuff was on back order, so I got a couple in the mail, and then I got the rest of them later on. So, so I got the inkers, and I think this one has one cut, yeah, one piece. And then this one here says Daddy's Girl. Really cute. Can't wait to do that. We use that one. This one is some uh, music notes, just says music, and there's two pieces in there. And then this flourish here is called Scroll Border Number One, and it's absolutely beautiful. If you guys go to uh, the Dusty Attic website and go to the gallery um, of people's, especially the design team. There are some of the most gorgeous pieces that I've ever, ever seen. Um, I think Jolaine has played with um, some Dusty Attic pieces and I want to say um, Tara, Tara Orr, some of the Prima Design members and um, Gabrielle Polacco. She's some, these are some of my favorite ladies that do awesome work. Um, and I think her name is Haiko, Haiku, something like that. She is from Japan, I believe. And she's one of the designers for Prima, but I think that I've seen some of Dusty Attic's uh, products on their work. So, absolutely amazing, amazing artists. And, yeah, so I'm going to be playing with these, I hope, soon. And I bought these quite a bit ago. This is probably like a, oh gosh, when, <laughs> when did I buy this? The other date was in March. So I've had these for a while. I'm sorry, I didn't share these before. So this is some uh, grass clusters. And there's several pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces in this particular pack. Sorry for the glare. And then this one here, I got a couple of these. Um, Birds on a branch. Really cool branch and it, ugh, how intricate is this? Just it's beautiful. A couple of little birds there. So you can paint on these. You can straight like uh, emboss on these, like we do a wet emboss on it. Oh my gosh, it's pretty. And then this one here are corners, corner flourishes. And they're called corner flourish number three. 
So and this one's just what, but I don't, yeah, just birds on a branch. So this is what this one looks like. You can see the laser, like the burn cut on there. So the little black pieces here are just the pieces that were cut out and just fell off. They're so pretty. So that, I got that. And then I headed, headed over to Joanne's the other day and went to the clearance section. And lo and behold, they had a couple punches that I thought were awesome. And they were on clearance. I think these are like $19.99. These are the EK Success punches. Um, I got it for $8.97, which wasn't too bad. It's like under half off. And then I found this one for $8.97 also. And it has like a sort of a florally looking design on there called a medallion chain so I found those and that's all I bought when I was there um, and at Craft Warehouse I don't know if you guys have seen these but Studio Calico um, is making these really pretty wood veneer pieces and I got some on my in my design team packet and that project is coming up soon and there's some butterflies different sizes really pretty 20 pieces in this one and this one here has 71 anyways I got that at uh, Craft Warehouse just because I wanted I wanted them. These are just so gorgeous. Alright you guys, that's it. Just want to share that with you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'll let me know. The links are below to the websites that I got this stuff at. So, alright, talk to you later. Bye guys.